what was that whole cocaine joke about? <laughs> you said, uh, I want people to pass cocaine. Everyone needs to do cocaine. Just talking. Just talking yeah, shit. Yeah, just talking shit. Uh, went overboard, you know, swaggy people over it where I thought I could get away with saying anything. <laughs> okay. That really, yeah, that was a tough one. That was a tough one. I don't know why they asked you, should we make what legal again? They said, what? We sh should we make weed legal? And I said, make cooking. <laughs> was it around that time that you got arrested? That was before. That was, that was before? before? Yeah. Okay, so you get pulled over by the cops and you yeah. didn't want to do a, a DUI test? No, no, no. Uh, it was... Uh, no, they said it was... Fuck it. Structural justice. Structural justice. Basically, but they arrested me because they didn't. They said I wasn't under arrest. They was moving me because it was a big crowd because everybody was coming over. But I wasn't under arrest. But we just go we'll take you down to get you away from all from this from everything. But they couldn't do that. So once they got me there, they said we had to put you under arrest because they can't just take me to the precinct when I'm not under. Under arrest. Well, you end up getting traded. No, I, I was a free agent. No. Oh, okay, okay. You only had a one-year deal. Yeah. Why? Why didn't they renew after winning a championship with you on the team? I guess the the arrest they. So you think that arrest was the reason why they didn't resign you? Uh, I Partially? think that I think that that kind of messed up a lot for sure. But huh. at that time, they already had signed. Uh, the Marcus Cousins, so I knew mm. they wasn't going to sign me after that. Okay. Because was that around that time you were calling yourself the most hated man in the NBA? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Why did you feel that way at the time? Uh, this was, I was doing that before I got to the Warriors. This, oh, okay. I said that around. Oh, over the whole yeah. D-Lo situation. Okay, got it. Got it. Okay, so then... Because I was like, how do I get in trouble? Why do people think I'm a bad guy for me getting recorded? So Yeah. Yeah. Well, then you signed with the Denver Nuggets. Yeah. But then 20 days later, they waived you. Yeah. Did you know at that point that your NBA career was over? Uh, Yeah. Once I start not getting, you know, picked up in that first week, first two weeks, uh, and me waiting the whole summer to get, you know, to get on the team or me getting tryout deals, I was like, yeah, it's, it's pretty much over. Yeah. I mean, you'd been playing most of your life at that yeah. point. You know, this was really your identity, yeah. it's your income, it's your lifestyle. Yeah, for sure. Did it hurt? Yeah, for sure it hurt it. Because I feel like I was forced out more than me just – because um, yeah, you still had the skill level. Yeah. Because yeah. you were, what, 33 at yeah. the time? And I had just won a championship. So, exactly. Yeah. You're coming off a championship, yeah, 33 so. years old, still healthy, yeah. no no serious injuries, it's and no like. no team was picking you up. Yeah. Anything was because of all the bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. So. Man, that sucks. Yeah. Were you considering playing overseas? I should have, but... Me, 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 I was more focused on trying to get back into the NBA than going overseas and playing that, you know, years went by. And I was like, damn, I should have just went overseas and played. Yeah. Yeah. Although, you know, it seems like where a lot of players go overseas, yeah. it's, you don't, know, you know. I should have got that money, though. I should have. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. they're, they're cutting <laughs> checks. I heard Russia's cutting big checks right now. For real? No, for real. Actually, agents in Russia are playing U.S. players twice as much as they were paying last year. Damn. And some players are actually going over there and to playing. Russia. Oh. Which is insane to right? me. Right? Yeah. Considering the, the Brittany Griner situation. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are y'all's over there locked up right now? Well, over yeah. a vape pen. Over a vape pen. Over a vape pen. And people are still, it, it just yeah, shows, people, people taking you, know, you know, to me, that, that just shows the extent of poor money management that happens in professional sports. To sit there and risk going to prison so you could play, you know, and, and, and so, some of the players are like, well, you know, I got to feed my family, you know, so it just is what it is. But like, 
yo, our countries are at war right now. You shouldn't even go there on vacation right now. And you're going over there and signing a deal. I, I mean, that's tough. Yeah, but some people, I've probably, they did probably make a lot of money. Yeah. The league. And, and people need money now. Gas is crazy. Food going up. Yeah. It's getting well, crazy out here. I mean, Gilbert, I mean, he kind of broke it down. Brittany was like the Michael Jordan of Russia. She was huge over there. For sure. And she was making $2 million in Russia and 200000 in the yeah. WNBA. Yeah. Ten times. And That's they the, did that to her. They did it to That's her. That's tough. I guess they were trying to prove a point, but you don't do that to somebody that been in your country about four years. Yeah. And win it and celebrate your country, and you do that to somebody like that. That's crazy. yeah. I mean, during that, by the time that you know you essentially were forced to retire, had you managed your money well during the course of your career, or uh, I was up and down, up know? and down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, you've heard a lot of horror stories. I mean, Gilbert had a horror story. His. Is it, you know, uh, oh, yeah, his there. wealth management firm. Took and, uh, took like well, yeah, one of his accountant, yeah, yeah, which he got back. I mean, you know about the the Kevin Garnett, I think yeah. like his guy stole like 70 million from him or so, yeah. insane amount. You hear these stories over and over again. Did you get any, any sort of financial drama like that along the way? Anyone stealing from you or? Stealing from me? Uh, well, you get, I got poor investment ideals, yeah. What was so. your worst investment? Let's hear this. I, I got to hear that the worst investment ever. <laughs> I don't even know. I think it was just like, well, I don't know. I can't say. I can't. Okay. Fair <laughs> enough. I just lost a lot of money off that. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Your your fiance. You guys got engaged. Yeah. You guys had another child. Yeah. 